हेलो दोस्तों आई होप ऑल गुड वेलकम बैक एंड आज हम कुछ बात करने वाले हैं जिसमें हम बात करेंगे लूप uh, टॉपिक पे और उसमें हम कुछ प्रोग्राम बनाने वाले हैं तो उसी सीरीज़ में पहला है लाइक राइट ए प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड आउट द सम ऑफ फर्स्ट एन टर्म्स ऑफ फॉलोइंग सीरीज तो um these types of questions are generally used to check the like uh, how much uh, student understand about the loops and how what is the concept buildings okay so let's start with this one like chalu uh, karte hain so straight forward like uh, if you uh, ye like i i just write down two test cases there if you input x equals to 2 so it will give you like first n terms so it will go up to like so and n n equals to 4 it will be like this way and it will give you 15 as output if you give x give x equals to 3 and n equals to 3 it will be like like it will give you three terms so that is a simple scenario okay so here the game is like n how what is the value of n we take so simple we will take input from the user so let's take this one i will take x as input so हमें ये सीरीज बनाना है और इनपुट लेने के लिए स्टेट फॉरवर्ड वी यूज इनपुट कमांड और जिनको याद है कि लाइक इनपुट व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ इनपुट फंक्शन एक्चुअली जनरली ऐसा होता है खुल जाते हैं ठीक है सो इफ यू वांट टू टेक इनपुट फ्रॉम द कीबोर्ड यूजिंग पाइथन यू हैव टू यूज इनपुट फंक्शन एंड एंड वाई वी यूज आई एन टी देयर बिकॉज वी हैव टू लाइक कन्वर्ट वॉट यू इनपुट टाइप विद द की बोर्ड दैट इज एज ए स्ट्रिंग ओके so you have to convert it into integer that is the key concept here and you have to remember this okay and then n n is the like the value like how much terms you want in the in the series as a sum of series like so here i will type it like enter enter value or value for for n and now now the concern is So, like, if I take n x equals to two and n equals to four, so obviously it will go up to this point. Okay, so straight forward, we have to use a loop. That is, uh, but with that we have to use a sum also. Here it is. Okay, and with that we have to store some this intermediate some value at some intermediate uh, in some variable. So for that we can use this way like uh, s equals to zero. We will set some variable. You can use any. And remember this thing. Uh, there are rules for the variable name. It can't be like any inbuilt uh, inbuilt variable or any function name. It it can't start by number. And uh, space is not allowed. Remember this one. If I want to make s one, so I have to write either s one underscore or I will write like this way. Okay. so space is not allowed in the name now i will make a variable result equals to i will put it something like uh, can we like okay take it to like uh, we will take in this one only mm, yes okay so if i run a rule loop simple loop like if i say for a small x and it is a case sensitive remember this thing so if i take for x in range range function you have to set some start point so i will say 0 and you have to go up to up to which terms you want so i want n terms so if you start by 1 it will be n plus 1 here because if you start by 0 here it will be this loop go up to let me write it here i will put a colon there then i will put a comment it will make a series like uh, list like this way 1 2 3 o- all the way to n minus 1 So if you give n, then it will go up to n minus one. So zero to n minus one, it is n terms. Okay, then, then I have to write. So uh, you can get, go it like this way, like print and then all. And if you want to direct, you can go it like s equals to uh, s plus. If I write it here, x. Okay. So this will be adding a number. Like this will be adding this number. but i don't want this number i want this number and it needs to be in a power so if i go for this one like x x becomes power here like x will be here it is 0 for this it's 0 for this it's 1 for here it is 2 here it is 3 like this so what i have to write 
I have to write here it will be x then power symbol and symbol x okay so this symbol will be will raise this x into the power like x power this okay and then at the end what I will do I will simply print so as I think like uh, we won't need this result variable like okay we can remove this or we can like at this moment I will make it so I will say like uh, sum of series is so I am using f and in this way like I can easily put the variable sum there like it will be s let's check this one how it will look like if I run this f5 it will say enter this enters value for x so if I enter 2 here and if I enter 4 here it will give me sum of series is 15 so how it came it will be like 1 plus 2 so if you do a dry run here like if you do a dry run so how it will look like let's do a dry run and that is the key point for dry run for like if you go for any coding dry run is the like major part in this one actually okay dry run is the like backbone like for any so if I take x equals to 2 and then I take n equals to 4 how it will look like so I said s equals to 0 then for small x in in range I will mark it like 0 and what's the value of n it will be 4 so internally it will be this statement will be replaced by 0 1 2 and 3 internally okay so x will pick value from this so I will directly write here x will pick value one value from this at a time using for loop okay so I will mark it here like this way and then I will say now x will pick 0 get inside the loop s becomes s equals to what is the value of x it's initially 0 plus then what's the value of x we have it is 2 then power and then it's what's the value of x now it's 0 so this becomes 0 plus 2 power 0 it becomes 1 okay that is the first term we have now x equals to 1 so what's the formula next s equals to so once this loop uh, iterate over one time it will pick next value automatically that is the beauty of for loop here so here it will be x equals to 1 here uh, s is also 1 so I will put it like 1 which is the s plus I have 2 and that is like this way and here what's the next value we have hold on are we going correct yes okay it will be 1 here and this becomes this needs to be 3 hmm, let's check this how it look like but maybe I'm doing it wrong no it's correct so it will be s is 3 plus 2 power 2 and then it becomes 3 plus 4 it becomes 7 now x equals to 3 then I am doing s equals to 4 plus 2 then power and then it is value of 3 so it is sorry 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 it will be 7 here it's 2 then power 3 and this becomes 15 now if you notice now 3 is like processed here so it will came out of this loop and it will print the value of this uh, and let's do for this one like so if now like uh, I have to comment this one and we can use this symbol as a comment part here now if I run this here it is if I give it like 3 and 3 it's 13 okay so this is the simple uh, like uh, sum of first n terms for the following series and there may be the like multiple uh, series can be used so can we make this using the while loop so that is a small homework you have to use like use while loop for making this to make above code and also I, uh, I will I will so I will request people who are watching this one actually uh, if you are interested you can do a dry run and post uh, post it in a comment so that I can evaluate and if there is an end out you can post me 
on on the comment sections or even though you can contact on my website also okay thank you keep learning keep coding thank you